As expected, I didn't receive all of my parts for the CNC plasma table. The only thing I got was these gears here. I got three of these. So these are the gears that ride in the rack of the machine. They attach to the motors with these two set screws. But that's all I have, so I can't really do anything. So I ended up making another possible product, I guess, for the Ford Fiesta ST family. So I guess we'll roll with that. Select a face, 0509, scale this sucker, 5.57, that's pretty close, I'll call that good. What we have to do is sketch around this profile here. So you may probably know what I'm doing, and that is the super glue hold down trick. Now I don't have any masking tape, clearly I used electrical tape. I don't know how the, well that's going to work, I mean it seems like it's going to work fairly well. I would imagine it would, I mean it's pretty sticky, I don't know. We're just going to try and see what happens. So we're going to put super glue on this side and put it down, hold it there for a little bit and then we'll machine everything out. I have real crappy super glue as well, so we're just going to use that and see what happens. So let me explain what this is for. So that little cubby hole on my car is rather annoying. I'm not sure what to put in there. You can't even fit sunglasses in there. I can fit half of my wallet in there and then it just gets caught up by the shifter when I shift the car, so that's really annoying. So I sort of just wanted to make a cover and I'm going to make this for myself and then see if anybody else wants one. Either way it's a win-win. Now my next thought was what in the world could I attach it to that little recessed pocket on the cubby hole where I made the sketch line in the CAD software. So let me know. I was thinking something like a silicone base, something where I can easily pull it out and then just peel the stuff off. I was thinking of that stuff that you get in um, uh, envelopes when you get like a credit card or some type of card and it has that little sticky stuff on it. I was thinking maybe that could work but then again I don't even know what that stuff is so something like that maybe silicone based. Anyway leave a comment if you know what I should use to attach that to the little recessed pocket on the car.
Now the next thing up is to try and get this thing off of here. It's not going to be the easiest thing in the world because it's super glued. But if worse comes to worse, then I'll just put a torch to it. Off of the machine that is, obviously. Alright, that wasn't so bad. A little nicked up here in the bottom. Well, let's go try it out. So sorry for it being so dark outside. That happens at nighttime. So this thing doesn't really fit like I had thought. It looks really cool, but we might have to do some finagling to get it to fit right. But anyway, that's what it's supposed to cover. So, yeah. That's interesting. So I gave it a slight little bend to see if it'll fit right. It actually fits pretty good. I mean, there's some open spots in there, and that's just because we got some curvature that I didn't take account for. There's some over there that you can't really see, but it's there. I'll be honest. I'll figure out a way to, to get it set in there and call it a day. So, I think that's it for now. Thanks for watching.